Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to create a chatbot for your website, for Slack, for Messenger, for Telegram with zero coding knowledge. So the first thing you have to do is to use this platform. So you go to Flow Exo. Um, so when you go to Flow Exo. This is how it's going to look like. Then all you have to do is to click on start for free and then create an account. So when you are done creating an account, so it should look like this. So this is how the dashboard should look like. So there are a lot of things you can do here, so I'll walk you through the process. It's quite easy and you don't actually need uh, to have a coding knowledge. So here is the flow, flow section. So it is where you are going to create the interaction of the of the bot of the child bot so these are these the bot so this is where you are going to create the bot this is the broadcast page so here you will see the summary of each broadcast you send here you are going to see live chat of participants using the uh using the, the child bot here you are going to see the users currently using the child bot and those people who have used it the activeness those who are active and those who are inactive so you are going to see the interactions here is find the analysis of, of your bot of your child bot and your uh, your flow so I'm going to find everything here then here you are going to see marketing tools and then integrations so the first thing you have to do is to create a bot so click on bot and then create click on new so I'm going to call my bot so when you click on new it will ask you to choose which platform do you want to create a bot for so I'm, I'm creating a, a chatbot for, for, for website. So I click on web and then click on uh when I click on it to ask for the name of my bot. So I'll write something like this. And now I can write a welcome test. So say hello, welcome to our website. So I next website. So I can click on this to show the test when uh if a catch or trigger is found. Now here I can click I can write a custom prompt message, but I'm going to leave it as default. So you can also add some uh some features here like forget conversion history. So I can tick that disable test input in the messenger. So if you don't want them to input test, you want to disable attachments and you want to collect the user IP so I can click on select this. So here I'm going to choose the, the team color of the website. So this is my website. So uh, my team color should be color blue. So I can select blue, something like this. Then here I'm going to choose the logo for the bot. So this is my logo. So I'm going to add my logo. Now the other text, you can write another text, uh, pop up and others. So when you are done, click on next and then so here you can copy the link and then paste it in a new tab to to, to uh to test your bot and to see if it's actually active. So as you can see, the bot is ready and logo is here, so you are good to go. So now to install on my website, so um all you have to do is to copy this code. So I'll just copy this code and then I'll come to my website. So my website is built with WordPress. So you are using WordPress, all you have to do is to add a plugin. So click on add new plugin and then come here and then search for headers and footer. So this plugin will enable us to, to embed the code. So I'll click on install now. And after installation, I need to activate the bot uh the, the plugin. So click on activate. So the plugin should activate and be ready to use now. So as you can see, the uh, the plugin is activated. So I can scroll down and come to settings, and then I can find the the plugin here. Insert headers and footer. So I've copied the the, the chatbot uh, embed code already. So I'll come to body here, and then paste uh, the the source code. 
embed link there and embed code there and can click on save so that's how to install and integrate the website uh the, the chat button on your website so if you are using shopify as well it's also the same process if you are using wix also the same process so i can come to my website and i can reload it so let's check if the bot is active now So as you can see, the chatbot is successfully installed on my website. So if I should click on it, it will pop up to my to to uh, my visitors. As you can see, it says "Hello, welcome to our NFT website." So this is a good start, and this is how to, to to create the bot, but not just the bot. So the next thing we have to do after creating the bot is to uh, to click on done is to create the interaction. That means uh, the flows. What do you want the bot to do so just click on flows and then click on new so it's very easy so there are a lot of things you can actually do so you want uh people to book a room maybe for for hotel website you want people to book a table you want them to book uh the bot to 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 create a, a book a service child bot you want to get an faq uh message a woman so i'm going to click on welcome uh and app and then um here you can see there are a lot of templates so they've created templates already so you can try to go through all the features there it's quite easy and straightforward so i can edit it uh the trigger action and i did the trigger action i can also come here to edit uh get the user's first name so if i want to add another action here you can click on add action so if i should click on add action so it will pop up if i want to send them a message if i want to send a video so i can i can click on send a video and then send a video i can put uh, copy a video url so i'm going to copy one of my video url so i'll open the new tab and then copy this close it and then come back here and then paste in the video link here so as you can see now i can click on next and then click on save so these are to set it up so you can go through it so the video we send to to the users uh interacting with the chatbot so this is going to show the first connection and then a lot of features so you can also add other other uh interactions with it and then set the flows up so when 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 you are done creating your flow all you have to do is to come here and click on this uh on so if you don't own it it's not going to work and when you click on on now the next thing you have to do is to integrate the flow with the bot which which we've created or uh, the, uh, the other time so i'll just click on connect to bot and then come here and click on connect to specific bot so as you can see these are the bots which i create i created already so this is the new uh the recent bot i just create so i'll just click on it then click on next and click on save so this this uh flow is actually going to work directly uh on my website and uh all everything i set up here is going to is going to display and it's going to interact directly with how users uh respond with the bot so uh you can actually go through this 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 flow is always very very good and a great way to, to set up chatbot for website also create chatbot for telegram and great chatbot for for your messenger uh in order to scale up your business and one of the main reason of having a chatbot created is to um make sure that everything is automated and makes your business more effective and faster so if this video has been helpful to you kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i publish a new video thank you